Welcome everybody. I'm back with another read. So we're gonna start off with a message on how your person feels about you. And then we'll jump into the tarot to find out exactly what's going on with you and your person. All right, so let's see. Okay. Somebody is wishing that things could be better between you and them. They know that they messed things up. They know they crossed some type of boundary with you. And just being near you is super duper intoxicating. Like, I feel like they're addicted to your energy. They love being around you. But they know that they messed up and they know they crossed some type of line with you. And they're just wishing right now that things could be different. I feel like... um they're hoping that one day maybe you can forgive them for what they did. This person does love you. They just are taking time for themselves right now to become a better person. I feel like also the timing may not have been right between you and this person, but this person cannot stop thinking about you. It says sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. So I feel like you're still on this person's mind. This person knows that they overstepped a boundary with you and... I feel like they're hoping that you could forgive them for whatever it is that they have done. All right. So, let's see here. What action they're going to be taking. Yeah, look at this. This just flew out. Regret. Okay, so this person is dealing with being regretful. Whatever it is that they have done to you, however it is they have made you feel, there's they're in regret. They abandoned you. They abandoned you. They took a whole different route because they wanted to reinvent themselves. They wanted to do something different. And they abandoned you. Yeah, and they are having regrets. Yep. They got a whole different tribe over here. Okay. They're doing something else with a whole different group of individuals. Like this person completely did a 180. They completely are with another group of individuals. They said they got free will, okay? And they said they can do what they want. This is somebody who feels like they can do what they want. The rules don't apply to them. They make up their own rules. They go by their own rules. Yes, okay? See, they, they have a whole different family, okay? They started a whole different family. They abandoned you for another family. And this is the picture that they are painting because we got Muse here. So they took a picture with another family and they said they could do that if they want to. See, this is somebody who feels like the rules does not apply to them, okay? They're doing this, I feel like we got surrender and nostalgia. So they wanted you to recognize this. They wanted you to see this because we got recognition, nostalgia, and surrender to try to get you to surrender to something. Um, so yeah, they took a picture. They took a family picture with someone else. But really, what's going on is they're actually in regret, okay, for abandoning abandoning the connection the way that they did. I feel like later on, this person is going to learn a very valuable lesson. A valuable lesson is going to come out of this. And see, we got fear and big dreams. See, they're afraid of thinking big. They're afraid of, they're, they're, they're very small-minded is what I'm getting. 
They're super duper small minded. They're trying to destroy something that they're trying to destroy the past. Okay. By just pretending like it didn't happen and taking a new direction. But that's not how I don't think that's a good way to just. I don't think that's that's going to be beneficial in the long run. It might be working now, but yeah, see, self-worth. And no, this person does not value themselves. They don't. It's like they don't have a good moral system. Okay. They don't have values. This person is trying to mirror you or they feel like you're trying to mirror them. They want you to surrender. They want you to surrender, okay? They want you to set up for whatever it is that they give you. They've been spying on you. To see how see how they can find a way to return because I feel like you and this person have been in solitude for a while. But this person is definitely like they they feel like the rules don't apply to them. They don't have to follow the rules. They're very non traditional. Um they say the rules don't reply to them. Even though I feel like this person is in a lot of regret. Okay, they're in a lot of regret. They just don't want to show it. Okay. So, what else does the collective need to know about this masculine? We got the Ace of Cups. Yeah, okay, I'm here. Feel, this masculine feels like you're trying to make some type of statement, or this masculine is trying to make some type of statement. Okay. Nestle trying to make some type of statement or he feels as if you're trying to make some type of statement. I'm I'm hearing that you're better. Okay. So the masculine feels like you're trying to make some type of statement saying that you're better. You're better than him or you're better than someone that he could be dealing with. We got the lovers, okay? Could be a Gemini. I feel like there's a love triangle here because look at this. The lovers, seven of swords, the fool, and the world, but just how it looks. I'm getting like there's this love triangle. Then we got the king of pentacles. And the Queen of Wands could be a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, male, and a Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, female here with this energy. I'm getting waiting on somebody to kick somebody out. I'm feeling like something's, something is... um long gone like maybe this has been going on for a long time the world yeah this this masculine feels like the chapter has closed okay this masculine may have found somebody new and ended this chapter Okay, this masculine is waiting on this other person to talk. 
to talk about it first so they can open up the conversation. I feel like maybe you've been getting a lot of attention with this Six of Wands. And somebody feels like you're trying to make some type of statement. Somebody feels like you're trying to make a statement. Five of Pentacles and the Five of Cups. I'm getting a lot of doubt. This masculine feels a lot of doubt. Okay. I'm hearing doubt that we could get back on track. So he's having doubts about you in this connection, like being able to get back on track, on track. I'm here and follow out with each other. So unless the, he's saying that he doubt that you guys can get back on track unless him and whoever he's dealing with now uh, fall out with each other. I'm getting... The connection fell apart because there was some major changes that he's that he was picking up off of you. He didn't understand where you was coming from. Um, I'm getting like the relationship, the connection fell apart. Because there were some major changes. Like, I feel like Miss Baskin felt like there were some changes about you that he didn't see before. He didn't realize this about you before. And he just wanted to feel like he had some options. Like, he wanted to have multiple options. Two of Pentacles and the Seven of Cups. I'm getting didn't see myself leaving until you asked me for ask me ask something. So there could have been a question or something that was said that kind of made this person kind of fall back. But I feel like this person wants to have, you know, keep his options open at the time. masculine is like feels like you're waiting for him to kind of like mess up somewhere along the line that's why you're not saying anything to a source and a page of swords i'm hearing somebody gay somebody back to the streets <laughs> I'm mean, hearing somebody gave somebody back to the streets. So, y'all could have gave this masculine back to the streets. All right, so that's what I got for y'all. If you're interested, guys, in booking a personal reading with me, bookings are $25 for new clients now. So, it's a great time for you to get booked as well, guys. Be sure to like, share, comment below. All right, and I'm going to chat with y'all later. Ciao.